now. The Great Consolidated uh, Popular Party, that's the GCPP, says it is re-strategizing to win parliamentary seats and also keenly contest the 2016 election. Now, the party is still sticking to its domestication policy, with its current leader insisting that domestication is more relevant today than ever, uh, especially to improve the fortunes of the Ghanaian economy. We will also be finding out from the party uh, its preparedness towards the 2016 elections in terms of what their plans are when they are going to launch their manifesto. Um, what has the campaign message uh, been like? How has the reception been and all of that? I've been joined in studio by Dr. Henry Latte. He is the flag bearer as it stands of the Consoli Great Consolidated Popular Party. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. It's been a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have not heard a lot about the GCPP. What have you been up to? Oh, we've been very, very busy. Over the years, people heard about us, but I think for about six months, just before the elections or more, mm. the news that was going on was not what we were interested in. It was just <coughs> a lot of insults, a lot of accusations and all that. And I didn't, I didn't think it was, we were right to be in that sort of politics. Now the th real thing is happening. So we're out. We've been out for the last month and it's going very well. Okay, now let's <coughs> get to the nitty gritty, the specifics. Do you have your executives? Have you elected your flag bearer? Do you have a constituency representation? And if you do not have that, with barely five or so months of the elections, are you looking at doing that anytime soon? Martin, oh, you're right, you've not been following. <laughs> For the whole of last year, we did our consistent constituency <laughs> and regional elections and our national elections. And at Kumasi, at Patakese Cultural Center, we had over 3,000 youth. People turn out. People turn out. It was huge. We had 50, 50 VIP trucks all over the country. It was so successful. Mm. We had Muta Baroka and Tony Rebel arrive. It was a fantastic event. Event, yes. Okay. Now, that is one major step. Yes. The next would be the campaigning and then the launching of manifesto and all of that. Have you done these? If not, absolutely. Mm. We've done a lot. As I talk to you, mm. and we're getting so many invitations. Even in my office just last week, students, Kateko students, they walked in, started singing. Mm. It, we're going down really well. Just this weekend, the Muslims, the Chirani Muslims, invited me to their prayer before the feast. Mm. It was incredible. And I told them about how peace is very important okay. for the elections, no violence. We're going down like a dream. I'm sure we're going to do much better than we did last election. 2012. Okay, but are you still campaigning with the message of domestication and what has the reception of that message been? Are people not saying it's been one too many, they want something else? Domestication is still the best policy for Ghana. Not only for Ghana, but for the whole of Africa. And they, they love it. If you listen to all of them, they are trying to say domestication. They say oh, we want to add value. You know? It's all domestication. They don't want to mention it. And <laughs> even the government is doing something that we like, which is near domestication. The local content in the oil is, lo is domestication. Mm. By made in Ghana because it's, it's domestication. But we want to energize that and do it much better than the government is doing. And we're talking to people because most people want to have a better life, be able to run their businesses, their farms, mm. whatever they want to do, to be given the Ghana economic empowerment. And once they know that what we're doing is what they want, they will certainly vote us into power. But th that, that could be the core of your message. But there are other issues that you might want to also consider. Education health, finance, um, you know, all of these other major components of governance. How is GCPP looking at bettering this and shaping it in such a way that people will buy into that message? Absolutely, we have all that. But before you can do education, you have to be able to have the resource to, to build proper education. Mm -hmm. You have to earn, and through domestication, you're going to energize the economy to make uh, a lot of money to pay mm -hmm. for it. Even in the energy sector, we're talking about if you were on social media mm. four years ago, when we first started, now everybody's on it now. We said solar. But we're not do, doing the solar the way it should be done. It should be done in a big way. That will change the environment, change the whole economics, because it will create more jobs. Okay. Two, we'll be able to sell solar to Europe. We shouldn't sit down for them to be able to have the access to solar. And then even in the cold weather, like they've done to the oil by fracking, they'll start producing solar in that environment. If we have 20 years of comparative advantage, we should go into solar a big way because all the um, Western countries creating jobs in solar mm. also is getting cheaper and they're building electrical cars. If we create the environment 
the Mercedes, the Toyotas, and others who come, in, all of that. come and invest right. here and who can do a lot more. My last, creating jobs. My last two questions to you. First of all, um, the EC gave a deadline of the submission of a, um, yeah, audited accounts. Have you done that? Have you submitted? Well, you know, we call it right. We're one of the best seven so called small parties. We are not a small party anymore okay. because the big guys failed. They could not do it. Mm. The one party who says they were so competent, were so competent, are not being able to do their books. Can they run this country? I don't think they should be able to be. Uh, okay. be given the chance because we have been able to prove that we can do our books. Some of the ones telling me yesterday, oh, the accounts were so much. What? What about the <laughs> billion dollar companies? At the end of 31st of December, they yeah. do their yeah. books. And if you okay. want to co control the country, mm. you should be able to do your books, okay. which and we have done. And finally, you're launching your, I mean, the election season is upon us. What is the next major step for GCPP? We are working. We don't talk too much. We prefer to work and then come and do the publicity later on. A lot of the politicians talk plenty on the ground zero. Okay. So you are seeing the real domestication going on. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Dr. Henry Latte is the uh, leader of the GCPP. And I uh, was just giving us uh, a rundown of what the party has been up to and their preparation towards the major election, probably in November. Uh, that is still yet to be ratified. But uh, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we wish you all the thank very you, best. Mark. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, yes.